Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundforks. This is episode 6 of the KSS Big Bang series and in today's episode we will have a new SSTO, a VTOL Mark 1D Ragnarok that will be taking a critical software update to the KSS Big Bang. And our pilots for today are Camry and Bill. Making a final pre-flight checks, making sure that uh, the brakes are on, and the flaps are in place, and we are waiting for the alignment with the KSS Big Bang so that it comes over the horizon so we can burn directly for it. And uh, weather conditions were not favorable, so we decided to wait for one more day. There we go. Okay, we will mark it as a target, so it's easier to perform an intercept. And perfectly, it's also done at the Kerbal Space Center. So, final preparations are ready. Throttling up. And we will be engaging the VTOL engines. Since these are basically basic jet engines, they take a while to spool up and we have to make sure that they're thrusting through the cent aircraft center of mass. So, Camry and Bill taking off slowly, firing the rapiers to gain some horizontal speed. Gaining some speed, ever so slowly. Since this series is very much focused on the SSTOs, I decided to. it would be cool that <coughs> for every delivery we basically take another SSTO. So, and by the time I was making this video, the video of Scott Manley's um, video of how to make an VTOL just came out, so I figured it would be kind of fun to actually try it out. And we have disabled the VTOL engine since we, since we have gotten enough horizontal speed so that the wings start producing enough lift. And now it's pretty much the same ascent profile as for every other SSTO. So I will take a short time <coughs> going up. Um, when on the ascent to the Skirball Space Station um, to discuss a few new channel updates. If you see hear me sounding different, I have decided to put some money forth and invest in the better microphone. Um, let me know how, how does it sound, because um, I have gotten the Blue Yeti microphone and I'm really eager to see how it sounds. Okay, moving onwards. Camry and Bill making sure that the nose is pointing some 30-40 degrees off the horizon as we are trying to get the away from the thickest layer of the atmosphere and uh, come to say roughly 11-12 uh, thousand where we will level off more or less drop down to basically 10 degrees of the horizon and try and get some serious speed before we um, before we eject out of the atmosphere so this is also today's episode will be a little bit shorter one because I didn't have well, well too much to record too much time to record so mm, we will basically taking up the SSTO Ragnarok and trying to dock with the KSS Big Bang. Um, you have seen me go uh, with Odin in the previous episode, the heavy SSTO, and um, the basically the main difference is that with this one we will actually perform the docking. And the mission for today is a critical software upgrade for the KSS Big Bang that will be uh, performed, a new version of the 
Kerbal operating system came out, the latest in uh, the 64-bit technology, which would uh, definitely improve the life of everybody on board and to make sure that uh, all of the food production modules are in line. Since the previous version of the 32-bit was simply unable to maintain all of the necessary modules. A little bit of wobble there as we are coming up on the upper layer and switching to the rocket mode and basically trying to eject out of the atmosphere as quickly as possible to burn as little to remain at what whatever we have of our delta V. Okay that's pretty much for the apoapsis and let's see at the apoapsis I will just fiddle a little bit to make the circularization uh, maneuver set up and let us align uh, prograde to the maneuver node and time accelerate until we get to the actual maneuver node there we are and let us quickly circularize there we go all right now let us perform the rendezvous with the KSS Big Bang. I'm showing this a little bit in time acceleration because you've pretty much seen it before so no need to show it in one time time acceleration. It just take a lot of time. Okay. Fiddling a little bit, setting alarm for the closest approach and accelerating to the maneuver node. It will be on the next orbit or two. Okay, coming up on a maneuver node <coughs> and performing a burn there we go. Let us just see how well is our approach. Remove the maneuver node. Oh, quite well. Fine. We set the station as a target and coming up on it. And now we will basically be fine tuning the rendezvous and uh, the whole idea of it is you have seen me do this before last time performing with our heavy SSTO when delivering fuel there we can see the KSS Big Bang coming up on the horizon and now the whole purpose will be to kill our relative velocity to the target which would be KSS Big Bang and while doing so to push our retrograde uh, retrograde marker on the nav ball to match that of the KSS Big Bang. Doing some little adjustments and little burns to basically align the two retrograde markers, the target retrograde and our ship retrograde, because this would basically ensure that we arrive as or that we pass as close to the KSS Big Bang as possible. Okay. Also using a little bit of RCS since this craft has very, m very m low um, SAS authority. So RCS here is a welcome addition and also it helps with the translation maneuvers. Okay, lining up and now we got the pause for the loading and here we go with the Navy Fish docking alignment indicator. It's a very u cool and useful mod. I can very much recommend it. It looks a little bit difficult at first but once you get to use it it's very very intuitive. So 
Now I'm basically lining up with any port, docking port on the KSS that is available to me. And when I come up a little bit closer, as you can see the st space station coming up behind us, I will select the exact docking port where, which I want to dock to and that one would be at the very bottom because that one is specifically designed for SSTOs because it has much longer reach to ensure that we don't accidentally pick up any of the other station components so now trying to basically select the bottom docking port and do a little bit of fiddling with the translation yeah there we go opening our docking ports and <coughs> Camry performing the final alignment to make sure that we dock at the bottom I really by the way like like the design vertical design of this uh, uh, space station and also Rover Dude did a fantastic work on this life support modules which I believe the MKS slash OKS mod. If you're playing with a tech life support this mod is pretty must uh, pretty much a must have if you want to make your space stations independent. Okay <coughs> I guess we are have we are more or less aligned with the docking ports and now it's a matter of it's a matter of tweaking the tweaking the final approach <coughs> sorry okay as you can see the vertical indicator at the vertical indicator at the alignment indicator shows basically our role and the and the crosshairs basically show alignment of our vessel and the um, and the sm small yellow marker shows our relative velocity so we are exactly aligned and the green and uh, bars show how much we need to move our velocity indicator to make sure that we un ra rendezvous with the space station so ever so carefully coming in on the approach and just thrusting translating slightly up until we get uh, docking seal so like I said this will be a rather short episode thank you very much guys for watching and in the next episode we will perform an update